Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. This is your outlook for October 15th, 2013. And we're going to use the GFS here for the Synoptic Overview and the video here because it's pretty close to what the other models are showing today. So there's really no sense in showing anything else. Uh, we have high pressure that's sitting up here in the Gulf of Maine uh, that's been situated there for a couple days. Here's that low pressure system that was hanging down and affected our uh, hanging down here by the Carolinas that has affected us late last week, and it's still pretty much in the same position, just in a much weaker state than it has been. So we're still going to have an onshore flow today, although with a very light uh, east wind that we're expecting today. But we're giving today a perfect 10 over our entire forecast area here because we really don't expect much in the way of clouds. It's going to be bright sunshine temperatures. Uh, they're going to be pretty much room temperature uh, from north to south across the region. Very nice day. Very nice day to open the windows and uh, you know let the let some air in here if you haven't been doing that the last couple days. And uh, we're expecting a cold front to approach here. It's going to be an association with a low pressure system moving up the over the upper Great Lakes and it's going to move up into southeastern Canada. Uh, but this uh, this front, I don't think it really gets in here too quick. It's not in a hurry, so I don't think Wednesday is going to go uh, be a too bad of a day either. Uh, we're including the chance of showers late, but I really think this is going to hold off until late Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Here's actually Thursday morning at 8 a.m. on the GFS, showing some uh, very, very light precipitation move through. As this front moves through, it really weakens out and just kind of gets strung out here. This is all less than a tenth of an inch as it ru runs through here, So, uh, but it might be very late overnight Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, it might not affect your, your uh, Wednesday at all now, so we'll have to keep an eye on that to see if that changes the future guidance. But uh, we do think there's a more concentrated batch of precipitation that's going to move through uh, Thursday night overnight into Friday morning. But then uh, that moves out of here fairly quickly Friday morning. Friday afternoon starts uh, improving, and then the weekend looks just perfect. So nothing really to deal with uh, this weekend. As far as temperatures are concerned, we're going to get back to near normal and uh, temperatures for this time of year on Friday and Saturday. And then as we get into Sunday, we're actually going to dip into slightly below normal temperatures, which looks like it might go into next week here. We're going to take a look at 500 millibar anomalies here. Now, this is the upper air pattern that dictates what goes on at the surface here. And we have a slight ridge here over the, over the eastern states here. And uh, you can see that by this kind of inverted U here. It means the flows in from the southwest uh, from uh, uh, 500 millibars. Of course, 500 millibars is about 18,000 feet above the surface, but it drives everything down here, our weather down here at the surface. And then, uh, you know, because of this here, this is Tuesday afternoon, we're going to have temperatures getting above normal here in this area with these uh, oranges colors here. Whenever you have the blues that, and blues and greens here, you see in the chart here, that's below normal. These are all negative numbers here. Uh, but we move forward in time here, and watch what happens. we got a big trough that's settling in over the north uh, over the uh, northern plains here you can see that by a u-shape here that means uh, cold air is a lot of filter in down from canada and spill down southward and that's going to be the case here as we get into the weekend in the northern plains i do think some of this is going to come east here but i'm not this robust it's going to moderate as it heads to the southeast here uh, and i really think it's going to be a big theme reoccurring theme this winter we did a winter outlook yesterday which many of you saw out about 50,000 people if you saw 50,000 people saw that blog uh, that we did for our preliminary winter outlook and this is probably going to be a recurring theme this year big shots of cold air in the midwest moderates a little bit as a head sees but still ends up below normal over this area here as it does so so uh, as we go forward in time here I want to show you this what this does here see how it kind of flattens out okay you get into early next week here we're in the below normal temperatures but we're only slightly below normal here so it's nothing crazy, though that big surge we saw here that was dipping in Minnesota here. Uh, it flattens out and it heads over the northern uh, portions of the northeast here, uh, but it does keep it below normal temperatures for this time of year, but just slightly. So we're going to look for that next week as uh, actually from uh, Sunday onward. We're only talking about maybe highs in the upper 50s to near 60, not 40s. So it's a big difference. Uh, last thing again, we talked about the uh, preliminary outlook. We do have that on our website here. There's a slider right at the top of the page of our website. And if you click on that, it'll take you right to our uh, our winter outlook here. And this is just the preliminary. It's not the big one that's expected on uh, November 15th. So this will just take you through, uh, you know, our analogs we used and the pattern and things like that and what we're leaning towards as far as snow for this, this uh, time of the, or for this winter coming up. Uh, on a final note, I will have uh, will be out of commission for the next couple days. I will be expecting the uh, birth of my third son uh, at the hospital. So uh, Mike Tofino will be doing the uh, daily video for the next couple days, and he'll be filling in for me. But uh, wish me luck. I will be out for the next couple days. I'll be back Friday morning. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for October 15, 2013. Have a great Tuesday.